Greetings and welcome back. Our featured presentation today highlights influential African Americans who not only helped shape America, but also shook up the world. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Our list is based on the Undefeated 44, which is published by Undefeated.com. And we want to commend them on their research and compilation of these 44 African-American influencers. These individuals are the true essence of black excellence and represents the quintessential mission of our channel. The Undefeated 44 is a collection of dreamers and doers, noisy geniuses and quiet innovators, record breakers and symbols of pride and aspiration. We pay homage to these African-American leaders and pioneers who are truly an inspiration as their personal achievements reveal the best qualities of black Americans. In this original Black XLS video, we will feature influential African-Americans who help shape our world. So without further ado, let's get started. Jay-Z, because he's saving hip hop while handling his business. Sean Corey Carter, professionally known as Jay-Z, is an American rapper and businessman. He is one of the best-selling musicians of all time, having sold more than 100 million records while receiving 21 Grammy Awards for his music. In 2006, MTV ranked Jay-Z as the greatest MC of all time for his formidable work starting with Reasonable Doubt, his debut album released in 1996. As an artist, Jay-Z holds the record for most number one albums by a solo artist on the US Billboard 200 with 14. Jay-Z has masterminded dozens of multi-million dollar deals and has built numerous successful businesses within his empire. Katherine Johnson Because she used numbers to find her voice at NASA. Katherine Johnson is a physicist and mathematician who helped launch the first use of digital electronic computers at NASA. Her wisdom with numbers and accuracy was so highly regarded that her sign-off was paramount for NASA to modernize itself with digital computers. It was Johnson who helped calculate the orbit for the 1969 Apollo 11 flight to the moon. In 2015, then-President Barack Obama awarded Johnson the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her pioneering work that led black women to work in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Quincy Jones because he is producing the soundtrack of our lives. Quincy Jones has been making an impact on music and popular culture for six decades. He scored and soundtracked the majority of our lives, contributing to and producing some of the best-selling albums of all time. Musically, Jones is a wonder. He's earned 79 Grammy nominations, collected 27 Grammys, and was honored with a Grammy Legend Award in 1991. He produced all three of Michael Jackson's iconic albums, Off the Wall, Bad, and Thriller. He is also the producer behind the We Are the World project of 1985 that sold more than 20 million copies and is one of the highest selling singles of all time. Michael Jordan, because it's gotta be the shoes. Jordan is the greatest player to ever touch a basketball. His six NBA titles and six NBA Finals appearances with six NBA Finals MVPs are among the greatest feats sports has ever seen. Five league MVPs, 10 league scoring titles, two NBA slam dunk contest trophies, and the list goes on. Jordan is also known for his multi-million dollar product endorsements. He fueled the success of Nike's Air Jordan sneakers, which were introduced in 1985 and remain popular even today. He is the majority owner of the Charlotte Hornets, helping him become the first billionaire NBA player in history and the third richest African American. Martin Luther King Jr. Because he was the warrior of nonviolence. Dr. King was a man of incredible achievement, seminal leader of the civil rights movement, co founder of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. King was a key figure in the March on Washington in 1963, as well as the Montgomery bus boycott and the Selma to Montgomery March in 1965. In 1964, at the age of 35, he became the youngest man to ever receive the Nobel Peace Prize. The March on Washington culminated in King's most famous address, known as the I Have a Dream speech, a spirited call for peace and equality that many consider a masterpiece of rhetoric. On the evening of April 4, 1968, Martin Luther King was assassinated while in Memphis to lend his support to the Memphis Sanitation Men's Strike. His wife, Coretta Scott King, activists and members of Congress campaigned for years in his honor until 1983 when his birthday became a U.S. federal holiday. If you love our videos and have a suggestion for a future edition, 
Let us hear from you in the comments section below. Henrietta Lacks, because she was the subject of a medical experiment that is still saving lives today. Henrietta Lacks was an accidental pioneer of modern day medicine. Her cells are saving lives today, even though she died in 1951. Lax was a 31-year-old mother of five when she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. Just months before her death, doctors at John Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore sliced pieces of tissue from her cancerous tumor without her consent, in effect, stealing them. Lax cells, now worth billions of dollars, live in laboratories across the world. They played an important part in developing the polio vaccine, cloning, gene mapping, and in vitro fertilization. The HeLa cell line has been used to develop drugs for treating herpes, leukemia, influenza, and Parkinson's disease. They've been influential in the study of cancer, lactose digestion, sexually transmitted disease, and appendicitis. Malcolm X Because he was the spark who sought to ignite equality by any means necessary. Malcolm X was the American dream whether America wanted him to be or not. Malcolm X overcame a drug addiction and a life of crime to become one of the country's foremost civil rights leaders and champions of black pride in the 20th century. His philosophies on black pride, black beauty, and black power spread widely across the country and his theories became the blueprint for the black power movements of the 60s and 70s. Malcolm X took a more diplomatic stance with regard to race relations after leaving the Nation of Islam in 1964. He began, though, to preach peaceful resistance and the benefits of integration in unity. However, his break from the Nation of Islam would be short-lived, as he was assassinated at the age of 39 in New York City in 1965. Thurgood Marshall Because he was the most feared black man in the South By the time Thurgood Marshall was nominated to be a Supreme Court Justice in 1967, few lawyers in history had argued and won more cases before the nation's highest court. He racked up 29 wins among just three losses, including his most famous victory, Brown v. Board of Education, the 1954 landmark decision that forced public schools to desegregate. Marshall is arguably the most pivotal figure in the destruction of Jim Crow and the most consequential lawyer of the 20th century. As the NAACP's lead attorney, he traveled the South filing briefs in local courthouses, representing poor black defendants in criminal cases, doing battle against racist white juries and judges, and establishing grounds for appeals to higher courts. Toni Morrison Because she believed everyone has a story to tell. Toni Morrison has contributed not only to the history, but to the understanding of the history of black people in the United States. Many writers use fiction to tell the story of our people, to reveal the physical and mental burden of half a millennium of systemic dehumanization. But it was Morrison who told you straight up, from behind a lectern at Princeton University or in her writings. The power of her novels lives in the voices of characters who are given their own stories. To read Morrison is to be reminded that each of us has our own journey. We need only crack open one of her books at any page to find the strength of fellow travelers. Her word work helped her win the 1988 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, as well as the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1993. Barack Obama Because he was the President of the United States of America Barack Obama's stride into history has been as confident as it has been unlikely. He announced his candidacy for president on February 10, 2007, a black first-term U.S. senator who previously had served just seven years in the Illinois Senate. But his campaign became a movement. His soaring speeches promising hope and change inspired millions. Less than two years later, a record crowd gathered on the National Mall to witness what was once unthinkable, the inauguration of the first black president of the United States. Through two terms as president, he was disciplined and deliberative, even-tempered and level-headed. Obama tamed the Great Recession, rescued the struggling auto industry, and enacted a health care reform law that had eluded Democrats for decades. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us, and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now! We will see you tomorrow.